transgender people is the same inclusive outstretched arms of Jesus that welcomes those who disagree with us. Yeah. I wonder if you just take us a little bit inside that, what you've learned that, that, that we can all learn from. You know, I mean, the, well, I, it goes back for me to the Ten Commandments. I am the Lord thy God, thou shalt have no other gods but me. God, only God is God, none of the rest of us are. Which may come as news in some respect, but it's a great relief. I'm not God, I don't have to pretend to be. And therefore, humility is a posture that comes with my humanity. And I, one of the things I've really, and I struggle with it, it's not easy to do this, is how do I stand and kneel at the same time in my relationships with others, especially with those who disagree with me or I disagree with them? Because I've got to kneel before them as someone created in the image of God, a child of God just like me, um, loved of God equally. Love is an equal opportunity employer, and the love of God is equal. So I've got to kneel before them, in a sense. I mean, and yet at the same time, I must stand with integrity. And what I've found is there are times when that is reciprocated. When I was at one of the conferences um, of the Anglican primates, um, the archbishops and presiding bishops from around the world, and this was a, a very difficult one. One of the primates um, who differed with me profoundly. The two of us got close in part uh, because he had been a physician in a prior life um, and I had just recently had brain surgery. Mm. And each day he checked in with me. Michael, how are you doing? I said, I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right. And I checked back with him and we committed to pray for each other. Not the way some folks say, I'm going to pray for you. That's not a blessing. That doesn't mean that <laughs> right. But to really pray for you. People can do that. Now, I know everybody can't do that. But most people can. There's, there's, there's more good in, in most of us, and we can. Um, yeah, yeah. we're not all called to be bridge people. Um, but some no. of us are. Some of us are safe yeah. in our bar. Um, mm. Dr. Moore, so I just I want to say a little bit about your role, because I think everybody understands mostly understands what a bishop is, but you are really the chief ethicist of the Southern Baptist Convention. Um, mm -hmm. You're part of kind of the think tank. You attend to the difficult questions in the public square and inside the faith. And the Southern Baptist Church is the largest Protestant denomination in the United States.